Hudson's Bay Company is founded in 1670. It is the latest in a series of large joint stock companies such as the Muscovy, East India and Virginia companies whose business interests are overseas. A royal charter entitles the company to a breathtaking share of North America. Using the northern route via Hudson Bay, the company has access to the richest fur regions and a business cycle 6 to 12 months shorter than competitors. Despite initial success with a sit and wait business model, competition from Montreal drives the company inland. In 1774, the company establishes Cumberland House, its first permanent inland trading post. First Nations peoples welcome access to European trade goods close to home. Hudson's Bay Company ensures consistent pricing, quality, and a fair deal by establishing the beaver pelt as a standard of trade. One of the most popular items is the point blanket, introduced in 1780 in response to customer demand. In 1776, Hudson's Bay Company's Montreal competitors merge to become the Northwest Company. The Northwest Company operates outside Royal Charter lands in the St. Lawrence Valley, Great Lakes, Pacific Northwest, and Athabasca. Fierce competition between the two companies eventually results in their merger in 1821 and Hudson's Bay Company gains control over the entire fur trade. Rupert's land governor, George Simpson, is at the helm of the new company. A man of vision, Simpson revolutionizes the fur trade by introducing economies of scale, closing unprofitable posts, and aggressively eliminating remaining rivals. In 1869, the terms of the deed of surrender give Hudson's Bay Company land concessions and a lump sum in return for the surrender of its charter monopoly. The company diversifies into agriculture and other businesses and encourages public settlement in company territory. HBC transforms its position from being the leading fur trader to the leading retailer in the Canadian West. Western Canada's great headquarters for anything obtainable to eat, drink, wear, or use. By 1869, the fur trade is beginning to lose ground as Hudson's Bay Company's primary focus. That year, the company exchanges its vast monopoly for land grants in an historic deed of surrender. In 1909, the company enters the modern age and begins to create a series of grand department stores in Calgary, Edmonton, Vancouver, Victoria, Saskatoon, and Winnipeg. As the company expands, other major retailers are absorbed into the Hudson's Bay Company family. The list includes such retail giants as Morgan's in 1960, Zeller's and Simpson's in 1978, Woodward's in 1994, and Kmart Canada in 1998. Today, Hudson's Bay Company is Canada's largest department store retailer and our oldest corporation. Hudson's Bay Company offers Canadians an unparalleled selection of goods and services with over 500 stores, 70,000 sales associates and operations in every province in Canada. <laughs>